What's up guys, Doug Polk here and welcome to today's video where we're going to be doing a walkthrough of the new Upswing Poker course, Winning Poker Tournaments by Nick Petrangelo, or Nick Petrangelo rather, uh, and I want to welcome you guys to this vid. So we're going to be looking at the course itself, everything that's inside the course, uh, some of the ranges that are a part of it. We're going to be taking a look at more specifically what it is because I get a lot of questions as to, uh, you know, if I, if I purchase this course What's it all about? What is inside? Where is the value? And we're going to be taking a look at that today. So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Happy to also answer some of the questions here in the chat below uh, that I see from you guys. So uh, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Okay, cool. All right, so this is the course. Now, this is our second iteration of the tournament course that we released about a year and a half ago with Pratush Padiga. It was called the Tournament Masterclass. Uh, and essentially, this is our new uh, our new tournament course called Winning Poker Tournaments. Uh, the course costs $9.99. If you are a member of Pratush Padiga's course, then you get a $300 discount for this week if you decide that you want to purchase it. Uh, and then also, if you purchase this week, you'll receive ICM Unmasked for free. So we're going to be taking a look at everything that's in the course so you get an idea of exactly what this is all about. Uh, now, for starters, once you purchase the course, you get access to all of the modules as well as the ranges and everything, and your home page is going to look like this. You have an intro video from Nick uh, as well as the pre-flop master sheet. Now, this is a, a really high-value portion of the course I think uh, a lot of people are, are going to enjoy, but basically Nick put together all of his ranges that he uses to play in the mid and high-stakes tournaments, uh, and he put together all of these for us to be able to then uh, put into an easy to use chart format. Uh, some of these ranges are from uh, some solver work that Nick did pre flop, as well as uh, some of his analysis of his own plays, my understanding of like the specifics on this. But I think it actually came together pretty nicely. Um, this is what it essentially looks like. So uh, you can select what type of range you want to have here pre flop. And then if you click on it, for example, if we want to see 25 big blind hijack open. Uh, it's going to pop up and it's going to show us exactly what we should be opening in the hijack here. If we want to see button uh, on a deep stack open, same thing. It's going to show what we should be doing as well as, of course, with a legend describing what each individual hand within the range should be. So I think there's a lot of immediate value here. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the big blind defends or some of the uh, some of the various stack sizes. Of course, looking at min raise as well as 2.2, 2.5 on some of the deeper stack sizes. We can see sort of what our three bet range looks like, what our call range is gonna look like. Um, this is all pretty straightforward stuff, I think, but I think it's gonna be very valuable, very valuable for you to learn the way that Nick is, is approaching all of these spots, and then you can be much more confident in your game preflop, because the thing about preflop is you're gonna play it every hand. So I think a lot of times in poker we get caught up on what should I have done in this specific river spot? You know, this guy went all in. Was I supposed to call? Was I supposed to fold? Uh, I'll do a couple of shouts here in a second too, guys. Uh, welcome everyone to the chat. But uh, was I supposed to call? Was I supposed to fold? And uh, while, those decisions, while those decisions are going to be the most important individual decisions that you can make, uh, they, don't, they don't really represent uh, maybe some of the most important ones for your overall win rate because... A very close river spot one way or another is probably going to have a similar value, but making consistent pre -flop errors is going to really add up over time, and it's going to hammer your win rate more than anything. Uh, this is kind of a funny story, but back in the day when I used to play full ring, that's the game that I got started in, uh, I had a strategy of if it folded my button or small blind, I would min raise 100% because people just weren't defending, uh, weren't defending loose enough, and I didn't need equity to raise those hands. So uh, I basically, for the first year or two of my folding poker career, was just stealing away all the blinds, right? Because no one was defending enough. Now, poker is not that easy anymore. But the point is, I was putting myself in a, in a situation where it was, you know, kind of regardless of what happened post-flop, unless I really got crushed, uh, it was going to be hard to lose when you're just printing that much money. Now, taking that, when we look at today's game, it's a lot more complex. A lot, there's a variety of strategies being used. People are more on top of these things. They, they have a better idea of defense all of that kind of stuff. But I think having some confidence in your preflop game goes a long way. And, uh, you know, there's two kinds of ways we can learn poker, right? You can learn what to do or you can learn why we do things. And uh, we always try and teach a, a, a blend of both at Upswing. Not just, you know, what do we do, uh, but also the whys. Luckily for us, preflop is more mappable. Postflop, 
you know, there are so many different situations, multi-way situations, different board textures, all this kind of thing. We're not able to be like, okay, guys, we're going to break down every board you can possibly uh, have and what you should do. But we obviously can jump in and talk about a lot of topics there too. Anyway, this covers a bunch of different sections. We've got RFI, Big Blind Defend, Blind vs. Blind, uh, Squeeze Ranges, all this type of stuff. Squeeze Range is even broken down into the opener and the collar, what your squeeze, squeeze range would look like. You know, a lot of work and effort put into not just the creation of these ranges, but then also making it easily viewable for you as a user to be able to, um, you know, to be able to, in a reasonable amount of time, look at a range and understand it better. Okay. I think we kind of went through that. Oh, we also actually, just one more thing I want to talk about here uh, on the pre out ranges. Uh, Nick also uses some limp strats, which I thought was kind of cool. A couple of different limp strats here that if you want to take a look at, uh, plenty to learn. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and, and before we continue, I just want to give a couple shots in the chat. We got a lot of uh, friendly names in here. Shout out to Andrew Bosha, of course. Good to have you, man. Uh, Alex Peterson, learned so much from you, Doug. Thanks, man. Appreciate that, Alex. Bunch of other guys in the mix. Rook Field, hi, Doug. Top fan. Thanks, man. Trevor Sather. Also here. Awesome, guys. Appreciate everyone joining. Carlos Jr., of course. Welcome, guys. Okay, cool. Um, let's let's move on and talk about uh, let's move on and talk about some of the videos themselves. So once you've gone through all these ranges, uh, we have a, the preflop section of the course. Now you can see there's just an intro video, uh, then there's preflop ranges, uh, a couple of videos on how to use essentially how to use solvers and the way that Nick approached it for this course. And then we get into the preflop videos. Now each of these preflop videos, if we take a look at the, uh, these are shorter videos, but he essentially he essentially explains what the charts are all about, uh, maybe some slight adjustments that you might want to make, uh, as well as just how to under understand you know how he drew these conclusions. Hey guys, it's Nick. I'm back. Change location. He's back. <laughs> from oh yeah, I'm here. To Canmore, Alberta, and anyway, if we go through. He's going to break down. He's going to break down all these pre-vault ranges. I don't want to get into too much of the content itself, but I do want you to know uh, what you're uh, what you're going to get here with some of these vids. Uh, then we move into the most dense section. I would say. I guess the point explains are pretty dense too, uh, but this is going to be the the more technical section of the course. We're seeing a lot of post slot spots, a lot of solver stuff, um, but you're going to see Nick really break down a bunch of different stuff on different textures. These are going to be really in depth reviews or uh, sessions of, of him analyzing how to be playing post-flop. Uh, tons of value here. Uh, in, in fact, like I think this is probably not the most fun part of the course, but it's probably the highest value in terms of what's actually going to improve your game. Uh, you could make uh, a, an argument, I guess, the preflop sheets will help a lot too. But um, these are also the same format as preflop. If you click on any one of these, you get uh, something probably, I think most of these are 30 to 50 minute videos. Um, each the entire course comes in at around 27 27 hours uh if i remember correctly <laughs> some of nick's intros are also quite funny but anyway uh i don't want to go into too too much of that content and then you get into the play and explains and uh it's funny because i've always thought when it came to poker coaching i always thought play and explains were not the best uh, way to learn uh, I always prefer just like the more technical assessment of things and understanding the whys and stuff. But I know a lot of people like playing explains. They like to see Nick play. They like to see uh, his take on some of his hands that he played. And so we've got a bunch of tournaments in here that Nick played where he ran deep or won. Uh, and he walks through all the important hands as you know, why he made decisions that he made. And sometimes maybe there were uh, hands he would have liked to play differently. Actually, tomorrow on YouTube, I'm going to be releasing a video that's uh, me and Nick spending an hour talking about some hands from a recent 2K he won. Uh, so you know, that, that's some free value for you guys if, if you're not looking to purchase the course. Uh, should be some good stuff for you to learn there too for totally for free. Anyway, we go through, we can see a bunch of the different tournaments that Nick won, including some Sunday live play. Uh, this session is kind of funny because he was doing it live while he was playing and I uh, was getting some good analysis in, but then he, it was like too much for him to be able to do the rest of the session because, you know, talking and trying to play. Um, but you know, you actually get to see Nick play some, which I think is pretty cool too, as well as breaking down a couple of live hands that Nick played uh, in some bigger tournaments. So yeah, that's that's really the course, winning poker tournaments. Uh, you know, we try and 
give you really high value here. Nick is a super awesome high stakes player. You know, this guy has won over $50 million uh, playing uh, playing live and then something like over $8 million playing online. Of course, I should say cashed for, not won, an important distinction, but definitely a very profitable high stakes tournament regular. And that's really what we try and do here at, at Upswing. We try and get the actual best people that we can get in uh, to coach you and teach you the game. So uh, also, if you purchase uh, before, go on here actually, if you purchase before the end of tomorrow, you'll receive the course ICM Unmasked for free, which is a mini course. Basically, Nick takes a dive in and looks at ICM and talks about uh, some of the most important aspects that he feels should be at play and how to take ICM and use it to your advantage as well as understanding when to kind of deviate from just a pure uh, rigid ICM uh you know type strategy this is a subject that i found myself agreeing with nick a lot because i find a lot of players they just value icm so much that it prevents them from being able to build up stacks and win tournaments and uh so i i definitely uh, i'm on board with a lot of nick's approach here uh there's like seven videos or so right now i know nick is planning on adding some more videos to this uh, as we get it going but uh, once this is completed we are going to be selling that for 299 and you do get it for free if you purchase this week Okay, so that's a pretty good walkthrough of the course overall. Uh, I hope that gives you guys a little more insight. And I'm also going to be able to link to this video now from other places for people that, that want to know uh, a little more about the course. Happy to answer a couple questions here while I'm here, guys. Oh, Monica, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. JP Stevens, Houston Poker Live. Welcome, dude. Uh, let's see what we got. Thank you, JP Stevens. Upswing worth every every penny. Awesome, man. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear you joining. Shout out to Ryan Feldman. Stopping by. Colin Chamberlain. How's it going, man? Uh, let's see. What else we got? I think that's going to be about it. Just wanted to make a short, short and sweet video explaining everything that goes into this course. And uh, we can repackage this and put some other places too. That's going to be it for me, guys. If you're interested in learning more about the course, I'll put a link in the description below. Obviously, you can just head to upswingpoker.com. It's in the top left. You should be able to find it pretty easily. But definitely interested in some feedback if you decide to uh, to purchase the course. If not, that's cool too. I'd like to give you guys some free value so you can check on YouTube for an hour-long video, uh, which will help you with your tournament game and, and play better, and, and you can le learn from Nick for free. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for tuning in today. Once again, over on Upswing Poker Courses Live. And if you purchase before the end of tomorrow, you'll receive ICM Unmasked for free. Thanks for listening.